I am recreating a look, Scissor's look for her latest music video. I really liked that her or her uh, makeup artist decided to do a look that has like warm toned eye look and at the same time having the lips be cool toned. I, I honestly haven't seen that happen often. So I wanted to recreate that and part of the challenge is making it look like it is the same as in the video because there's obviously color grading and obviously we have very different skin tones and stuff like that. It's okay, it's about the idea and about the look in general. Let's conceal. So if you're recreating this look, the key is to make a dewy base not crazy dewy but something that looks quite natural on the skin doesn't look drying her base looks very dewy in the sun looks really alive so based on that you would have to choose the right type of foundation if your skin is like super oily for example you don't have to choose a foundation that is dewy because your skin will do the work for you but if you have dry skin you should think about how you would go about creating that which i usually get it by just putting a bit of glossy skin tint all over and today i am wearing foundation because it's a recreation of a makeup look even though sometimes i prefer less coverage it doesn't mean that it works for this makeup look i've been trying to figure out whether she has eyeliner on or not because it, it's hard to see with the lighting and with the quality of the video and such i have to do a lot of guessing <laughs> i have a few things that i'm very sure of <laughs> so for example the fact that at the in the inner corners she has a lot of orange going on and like her outfit and everything hence the outfit so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go in with some orange really blend it out and prepare for some brown i think she's got some brown going on because she's got like a blended out wing it's not very strong wing or it's just the lighting kind of washes it out i'm not sure um i couldn't find any pictures like that weren't where the color correction wasn't strong so slightly washed out video all the colors are kind of made to be a bit more dreamy like the liner is quite strong i think it's just the washout so we're gonna go with the liner but we're gonna blend it out because i feel like it would fit the aesthetic more try to line your lash line and your waterline like subtly we're gonna build up the color instead of just going in really strong My strategy for today is to keep on going back and forth and build up the color carefully instead of just going ham. It seems to be honestly this is this is just me trying to recreate like what it looks like in the music video rather than what it looked like in real life because I have no idea what it looked like without proper lighting, without all the other things. But I do want to give it this beautiful orange wash kind of look that she has going on it looks like a goddamn sunset it's ridiculously beautiful also we're gonna add more concealer later to clean it all up because i feel like it's gonna be a bit messy just because i'm using some creamy products e. the outer corner on the bottom but not on the inner corner lower lid just the upper one The wing that she has is not like super curled up like some eyeliners go sometimes. It's more of like what I prefer when it's a little lower. In terms of the angle, I'm just going to take brown, warm and cool tone browns. I'm just going to mix them and start blending it. So I'm putting it down with an angled brush. But how I'm putting it down is not exactly using it at an angle that it's supposed to be used at, but more like this. Because I'm trying to put the color more than just on the line, but I still want it to be quite close to the lash line. So I'm using this tiny brush, but more vertically than horizontally. Some man is staring at me from like, from the street. And I really feel uncomfortable. And then I'm gonna take the fluffy brush and blend it a bit just slightly i'm barely touching it do not blend everything away do not lose all of the definition in the eyeliner and the orange is going to be focused more on the front of the eye i'm going to fix up the base i'm gonna layer the orange i'm gonna dull it down with a bit of concealer that's left on the brush not like a new concealer yeah and then place more oh 
Sorry for the lighting today, it's quite gray. It's been very smoky in Vancouver and it's hard to breathe here. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take a little bit of concealer again. Take it on the brush. Oh, that was the orange finger. <sighs> and then take a little bit of Glossier again, just because I want it to be nice and dewy. Powder down the eyes, because they're crazy. But I use a tiny bit of powder, and I also use the Glossier powder. My friend told me that we should play a drinking game and like take a shot every time I mention Glossier in my makeup videos. And I don't really want to get wasted, so <laughs> I don't want to play that game. I think Scissor's blush is kind of pinkish, I think. It's placed quite far, like more on the cheekbones and on the cheeks. So when it comes to contouring, once again, partially it's the lighting that it doesn't look like she has much contouring going on, which is what I'm gonna go for. Just gonna lightly bronze the sides of my face. On the nose. Just to bring like natural shadow to my face back. So her brows are very, they are very well gelled. They were really like put in place. The makeup artist definitely went. All right. We gotta make them stay. We gotta make them stay for the entire sequence of this dancing scene. So they like gelled up. Let's put a bit of lavender on my lips because the thing is, I want to get the right color. I don't know how much of the color is her natural lip color, how much of it is like some kind of pencil or or whatever it is. And again, the color correction kind of messes with it. So I'm just trying to get some semblance of what it looks like to the viewer in terms of colors. I'm going to overline with a new liner a little bit. But not fill it in because this is too warm for what we're trying to do. Her lips in this scene look like they have a little bit of like lavender color to them. So that's what we're gonna do. But then we gotta move on to the lip gloss. Try to keep your lips kind of cool tone at the base and then put on a lip gloss. I pinched myself. Okay, I'm not crying. I became kind of bad at putting on lashes. Now the highlighting part. She's quite highlight. Got highlight on her nose, forehead. It's not gonna do much for me because I have bangs, but... Mm -hmm. And then the eyes also have a highlight going on, but I'm going to use this, the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. I'm going to take this color, I think. Ooh, that's very pink. Maybe it doesn't look that pink on camera, but it does in real life. Pretty though, I'm not mad. Okay, and then there's some color in the middle. Wanna look like Caesar for a second, okay? I just wanna look pretty like her, you know? I think that's reasonable. <laughs> Maybe it does. I don't know. So I prepared something else too. It has to go around my waist twice, but I'm gonna do my hand first. It's kind of, I was gonna say it kind of looks like white tie or like kickboxing kind of tie. It's not really the right thing. Oh, this is gonna be hard. I don't know how to tie it up. Ah, it's fine. And now I have to do this twice around my waist. Once. In the past three videos, I've used orange as my outfit or something like that, and I think I have a problem. But in any case, this is my cover, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!